Hey again. So I was so with everything going on in the world, I was recently like, man, we gotta dive into Revelation. And wouldn't it be wild to just start reading Revelation together? I'll tell you what, I'm not a theologian. Theologian. I didn't grow up in the church. Um <clears throat> just saved by Jesus, man. Saved by the word of God, saved by the blood. And here I am. Love the word. And so Revelation is one that I don't dive into all the time. And the, bo the, bo the body definitely doesn't dive into. But let's, what do you say? What do you say? Let's, let's see if I can keep this like short. Maybe we'll do like chunks. Just do maybe try to do like five minute chunks and then we can talk about it. And you know, like the theologians, the, uh, those who know Greek, who have the full context, jump in. Let's have some fun, okay? Um, revelation 1.1, 1, 1, the revelation from Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show his servants what must soon take place. He made it known by sending his angel to his servant, John. All right. From Jesus Christ. Amen. What must soon take place? Soon. Interesting. Soon, at this at this time, we don't soon, soon, soon to us and soon to God, different things. Let's carry on. Who testifies to everything he saw? That is the word of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ. Okay. Blessed is the one who reads aloud the words of this prophecy, and blessed are those who hear it and take to heart what is written in it, because the time is near. Hey, Amen. Praise God. We're reading this out loud. And then it's for his glory. Okay? But, like, isn't this cool? Like, blessed is the one who reads aloud the words of this prophecy. Cool. It's almost like there are people who won't read it aloud because it's too hard. You know, like we don't like a hard word. Give me the vanilla and blessed. And also blessed are those who hear it, hear it and take it to heart. What is written in it? Because the time is near. Cool. Cool. Okay. John to the seven churches in the province of Asia, grace and peace to you from him who is and who was and who is to come and from the seven spirits before his throne. We'll get into the seven spirits. Are the seven spirits mentioned? Seven spirits in the Bible. Let's see, let's see. I really like Bible, Bible help, by the way, but let's see if we can Get some cross reference. The spirit of the Lord will rest on him. Acts. Okay, so if anyone has understanding of seven spirits, I know seven spirits will come further in Revelation. But him who was, him who is, and was, and who is to come. Amen. And from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness, the firstborn from the dead, and the ruler of the kings of the earth, to him who loves us and has freed us from our sins by his blood. Sweet. Who is the faithful witness, the firstborn from the dead, and the ruler of the kings of the earth, to him who loves us and has freed us from our sins by his blood. Amen. All right. This is awesome. You know, people are like, people are like, oh, I'm reading, I'm reading uh, Game of Thrones. Or I'm watching Game of Thrones. I'm reading this book. I'm reading this like long thing. And it's like, read this. Read this. This is way better. First of all, and they're stealing everything from this. Everything has come out of the Bible. And we've like, because it's the best, the greatest story ever told. And we just like, steal i've always i've always said it's like bart simpson when bart simpson goes up to the the sign and he makes it say something different that's what they're doing they're taking this awesome truth 
the devil uses this truth, obviously, because it's truth and you need to have like a cord of truth to get people to catch their attention and then we tie it in a knot. So, to him who loves us and has freed us from our sins by his blood and has made us to be a kingdom and priests to serve his God and Father. To him be glory and power forever and ever. Amen. You might have to stop right there. And has made us, he has made us to be a kingdom, a kingdom, a kingdom, and priests to serve his God and Father. To him be glory and power forever and ever. Amen. Let's look at some other. Um, I've heard NET is a solid translation. Appointed us as a kingdom, as priests serving as God and Father. Baby's crying. Amen. We might have to stop right there. He has made us a kingdom and priests, man. I think that's something the body needs to realize. It needs to realize like our true identity, man, is like priests. We're like crowned in glory with Christ. We gotta like we gotta remember that. That that's super powerful. And so we should we should we should always remember that so we can be like not puffed up, man, but just know our standing. And we stand with the King of Kings. We're at his word. We are we are like in him. Okay. And that should make us bold. That should make us courageous. Should we do one more? Oh, let's do one more. Let's do one more. Look, he is coming with the clouds, and every eye will see him, even those who pierced him. And all peoples on earth will mourn because of him. So shall it be. Amen. I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord God, who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. The Almighty. The Almighty, baby. Okay. Send this to uh, the group. All right. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for this time together. Let's let's return to this. Let's keep moving through Revelation. Let me know if you have thoughts, comments. Um, powerful, powerful stuff, though. You know, I think right up right away, something that strikes me is it's like we are setting the stage of of who is who is delivering this. Let's go all the way back from this is from Jesus Christ and who Jesus Christ is. The Alpha, I am the Alpha and Omega, who is, who was, who is to come, the Almighty. Amen. Hallelujah. That, that is who we follow. That is who gives us his same power, his same courage. Have a relationship. Know our Father. Amen. See you again.